to cooking at Pam's place. We are getting ready to make Southern style cornbread with a twist. We're gonna be making roasted sweet potato cornbread. It is amazingly delicious and it belongs on everyone's table this holiday season. The first thing we're going to do is roast our potatoes. Now I've already cleaned my potatoes. I've washed them off. I've got my oven preheated. I'm gonna just take a little of macadamia nut oil. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, any oil you want, coconut oil, but you need to rub the skins down so they won't dry out in the oven. Again, I am using macadamia nut oil because well, it's my favorite cooking oil. You all should know that by now. Just rub it in your hands. Make sure your hands are perfectly clean and then rub your potatoes down with it. After you've rubbed your potatoes down really, really well, you want to take a knife and then you want to just poke holes all in it. That's just to ensure that they don't explode and any steam that's in there can escape. I have roasted these potatoes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit and they stayed in there for maybe about 30, 35 minutes. Your oven may vary. Now you don't have to roast yours, but roasting them gives them an amazing flavor. It retains the color and the nutrients. You can feel free to boil yours if you want to, but I like to roast mine. I'm going to let these cool and we're going to go ahead and make up our cornbread batter, get these mashed and get it in the oven. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notifications so you won't miss anything. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me again here in my kitchen. I really appreciate you and channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Okay, I'm going to set these aside, get all my other ingredients, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've pretty much gathered all of my ingredients. The first thing we're going to do is mix our dry ingredients. I have a cup of cornmeal here. I have a cup of all-purpose flour. A teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can use maybe like a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a or three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Okay, we're going to put that in there. Now we're just gonna mix this to combine. Make sure all of your dry ingredients are combined. At this point in time, go ahead and preheat your skillet or your skillet. We're gonna preheat the skillet, but not yet. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Make sure that your dry ingredients are well incorporated so you don't have all your cinnamon on one side and nothing on the other side. Okay, we're going to set this aside and move on to prepare our potatoes. Grab you a large mixing bowl and we are just going to peel the skins off of the potatoes and put them in the bowl. We're going to mash them up really, really well. I like to use an electric mixer to do that with because I can get any strings that are in, that are in the potatoes out and it's just a little bit faster but you can do this by hand just using a fork or regular potato mash. Okay we're back so you should have been heating up your actual oven. You also need to preheat your skillet or your baking dish whatever you're using. I'm using my cast iron skillet here so I'm going to heat this up for approximately five minutes. At around the four minute mark, I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter into the skillet and still leaving it in there preheating. You want to preheat your skillet for a total of at least five minutes. Get it good and hot. So I'm going to get this in the oven and we'll be right back. Okay, while that's in the oven, we'll get everything else prepared. So when our five minute mark comes around, we should try to be pretty much ready to get our batter in the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and blend these up if I get any strings in here. If you're blending potatoes, sweet potatoes, whether it's for a pie or a cake or whatever you may be using it for and you're blending and you wanna get the strings out of it, what you wanna do is blend it. And I'll show you if I get some strings, I'll come back and show you. You wanna blend it, lift it up. And if you see a lot of strings on your beaters, you want to take your beaters and rinse your beaters off then come back and do it again do that two or three times until you don't find any more strings or very minimum strings in your potatoes okay so these potatoes don't seem like they have a lot of strings in them so I'm just gonna mash them a little bit longer and then we'll be ready to add in our other ingredients 
Okay, now that we have our sweet potatoes all mashed, to this we are going to add two large eggs, a cup of buttermilk, a half of cup plus two tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of local raw honey, and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Go ahead and combine that. I like to combine it with my spoon and not my mixer, but you surely can use an electric mixer. So I'm gonna get this all combined and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we are fully combined here. And before I go ahead and add in my dry ingredients, I'm gonna add that tablespoon of butter to my skillet in the oven. Just toss it in and let it melt. Now I'm gonna add my dry ingredients into this bowl and combine it well. You do not wanna over mix this because if you do, your roasted sweet potato cornbread will be dry. So make sure you don't over mix it when you're mixing your dry ingredients into the wet and it will be a pretty thick batter. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so first thing you wanna make sure this butter is melted all over and I like to kind of put it on the sides of my pan as well. Oh my gosh, this is good. Delicious. Every Thanksgiving table, every holiday table, whatever holiday you may celebrate at any given time of the year, actually, this should be at your table. So from here, we're gonna just go in and pour our batter into the skillet and spread it out because it is really thick. Here, I like to use my offset spatula for this simply because it fits down in here and I don't have to worry about um, the handle or trying to get it in here or anything. So if you have an offset spatula, you might wanna try to use that when it comes to spreading it out because it is awful thick. Be mindful that your skillet is hot, so don't touch your handle or any parts of it with your hand. We are going to bake this in a 375 degree oven for just about 30, 35 minutes, but everyone's oven is a little different, so if yours takes longer, that's fine. Um, don't over bake it, but you definitely want it to be set all the way through, so you can use the toothpick method to test it. Okay, so our roasted sweet potato cornbread is in the oven right now, but I just wanted to come on and take a second and mention something to you guys. <laughs> I'm sure if any of you all watch cooking shows like Food Network or Cooking Channel, Beat Bobby Flay, Hell's Kitchen, Master Chef, Top Chef, Chopped, any of those, Guys Grocery Games, any of those. <laughs> You have seen chefs burn things, forget things, put the wrong ingredients in things, just all kind of stuff, right? <laughs> okay, well, that is me today. I was cleaning up while my cornbread, roasted sweet potato cornbread is in the oven and look what's still on my counter, the sugar. <laughs> I forgot the sugar. so. For those of you all who are making this, the sugar goes in with the eggs, then the buttermilk and vanilla and all of your wet ingredients. Put it in at that point in time. This is a half of cup of sugar. I'm not going to go back and redo it. I'm going to leave it out. But 
I typically add honey butter on the top of it, but I'm going to make my honey butter in more of a glaze and I'm going to poke holes through it so it can soak through down into the cornbread since somebody left out the sugar, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that to you all so that you can get yours right. Okay, so we should be okay. coming out of the oven in just a minute. And I have about a half a stick of butter here and I am going to just add some honey to it and stir it up and that's your honey butter pretty much. Um, and we're going to go ahead and incorporate this on the top of it. You just want to stir it until it's well combined. You can add as much or as less honey or butter as you like, according to your taste. Ooh, we are all done. Look, doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness. And it smells divine keep my towel here and just hang it right there that way you won't forget that you need it if you just hang it on there so I'm gonna just take this toothpick and we're gonna poke holes throughout it just so that we can incorporate our honey butter since somebody forgot the sugar I um, don't know who but anyway <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of spoon this over here and then we're gonna brush some on as well oh my goodness yes this is smelling divine. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try it, what you think about it. Let me know. And you can also put some around the edges. That way it'll seep down the sides as well. Make sure it's well coated all over. Ooh, this is going to be amazing. Okay, we are ready for our taste test. Yes, oh my goodness. Smells amazing in here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it. It's cool enough, it's still really hot. That's why I had that on there, it's not too hot though. So let's get a taste. Oh my goodness. It smells divine, divine, divine. Ooh, y'all know I have to have a big piece, right? Yes, oh my goodness. See if I can get this out of here in one piece. The first one is always the hardest. All right. There we go. Ooh, I can have a scoop of vanilla ice cream with this. Oh my goodness. Let me bring y'all up a little bit closer. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness goodness. Once again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me here in my kitchen today. I really do appreciate you. Take a second to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification so you won't miss anything. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back once again and visiting with me here in my kitchen. Channel members, oh my goodness, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Oh boy, yes, mm, mm, mm. smells so good. Mm. Ooh, ooh, it's still a little hot. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And you know what? I must have had some really good sweet potatoes because I missed the sugar, but it's nice and sweet. And that honey butter, delicious. All I need is a cup of coffee. Or I could have some collard greens with this now. Come on, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.